I'm here with D today. What's your role here today, today D? Uh, I'm a cook uh, working in uh, creating the stone soup. And uh, tell me, what's the story of stone, stone soup for people who aren't familiar? Uh, the, roughly the story is that uh, a man walks into a village um, asking for food and no one's willing to um, help him and he goes and he t puts a pot of water on to boil and puts just a stone in it and people walk by uh, wondering what's in the soup and uh, slowly he convinces people to add all of them to bring one ingredient and add it to the soup until there actually is a meal there and then all of them sit down and share it together. So a lot of people here have different views on lots of issues, but we can all agree that we don't want GMO food. Um, what do you want to come from this event? Hmm. Um, it would be amazing for, uh, for the FDA to uh, require that all GMOs be labeled um, in grocery stores, but also for restaurants when they're being sold in bulk. Um, and uh, large-scale um, produce management. So one of the people who spoke uh, up during the presentation time earlier is wants to open a GMO-free grocery store, which I think is a really cool idea. Um, I asked her this question, and I'm, I'm, I will ask you the same one. Do you have sympathy for small businesses who say they can't afford to label GMO food? Uh, yeah, it, it makes sense. I think uh, the way the FDA is set up right now, um, we're incentivizing the wrong kind of systems. We incentivize large-scale farming that destroys the environment and encourages monocropping. Uh, like where I'm from in Southern Maryland, I grew up in cornfields and tobacco fields, and now there's barely any of that left um, because the, the actual the, everything else that, that used to be farmed there is no longer farmed there, where it's only corn now. How do you feel about that? Uh, it's pretty shitty. Uh, like, not only has it, like, small farms are either being sold to developers and huge neighborhoods are being built, or sm small farms are being sold to larger farm uh, owners that just make tons and tons of profit um, and leave families out in the cold. I noticed there's a large presence of law enforcers here today. What do you think is the role of law enforcement in today's event? Uh, yeah, they're actually Homeland Security. It's not even local police, which I'm from. I live actually about a block from here. I probably live the closest of anyone here. Um, uh, I've seen Homeland Security at things like this in DC, but I think uh, cops usual job, especially Homeland Security, is just to beat people, so uh, that's not going to look good. You probably won't include that, but that's my honest opinion. I sure will include that because I think that's what they are here for. I think part of their role is intimidation. Now I'm curious, do you, do you think that the FDA views you or this group as a threat? Yeah, I think um, most of the employees of this FDA building didn't even know we were coming today, but they're, the people who run the FDA um, not necessarily in this office, but also the people who do run this building um, probably think we are hostile, that we are uh, probably some of them think we're some kind of eco-terrorists, but um, like literally we are soaking up the sun, making soup, and feeding people who are hungry. And uh, I assume, but I don't want to assume anything, so I'll ask you, you, op uh, you oppose the use of force uh, against peaceful people? <laughs> I. I oppose the use of force against peaceful or non-peaceful people, Great. depending on the scenario. So would that include someone who refuses to label GMOs? I don't understand the question. If a person peacefully refuses to label GMOs, do you advocate the use of force against that person? Uh, I have no idea. Do you think that no someone opinion. should be put in jail for that? Um, no idea. Is that what a law would do? They would probably end up getting fined. I mean, like, it's gonna look good for the interview, but like, this probably is some kind of fining system. I don't know about jail, or that being considered force, but. So I don't know this. I'm not yeah. trying to trap you or anything. No, I know I, you're I can... not. I'm, I'm saying what I would say in conversation rather right, than right. The interview. Okay, cool. That, that's cool, and this will be edited, so you don't need to be concerned yeah. about that. Um, but I, what, what I am, 
learning today is that there's no uh, written plan of like this is what Occupy Monsanto wants. It's not written, but it's 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 just generally stated uh, label GMOs, and it's up to the FDA to come up with that plan. Am, am I understanding this correctly? Uh, is that your impression yes. as well? That like there's no written plan that you want to get passed. You just want the FDA to come up with their own plan to label GMOs? I'm just a cook. I don't right, you're, okay, so you're you're a cook. You came out here to be a cook today. You're not asking the, the FDA to do anything? Yeah, I guess so. I don't want to put words in your mouth, so like, you know, is this, I know, I'm just... you're only here to cook and uh, that's that's it, that's what you, that's your role and that's what you want to, to say as, as yeah, uh... Yeah, I guess. All right. <laughs> Okay. That's okay. Let's end on something not really strong. No, 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 not please. Torture video. No, 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 no. Uh, I uh, let's end on something a really simple. It's not very photo energetic. Um, how did you first hear about GMOs? I have no idea. Okay. Um, I can say some. Sh I can say a lot of shit about cooking. Say something about cooking okay. then. That's probably the one thing I guess. Why were to. Why were you chosen as a chef today? Uh, I volunteered to cook for this action. I heard about it about three months ago, or two months ago. Real bit. I volunteered to cook for this action. I heard about it about two months ago and decided to come volunteer uh, about two days ago. Um, I brought all my large-scale industrial-sized kitchen equipment and uh, traveled about a block to the location here, uh, helped set up and uh, determine where things were going to be food-wise and kitchen-wise and uh, put the hand-washing station together and uh, I'm out here because I want to feed all these lovely people with all these like wonderfully produced fair trade organic uh, uh, produce and vegetables and uh, vegan soup it's gonna be awesome awesome D uh, one last question are you a vegan I'm not okay but I cook vegan all right. Uh, thanks so much for your time, and thanks for answering some relatively difficult questions. I appreciate it. Cool.